The beauty of science. The magnesium sulfate structures seen here have been magnified. And this is a cross-section of real moon rock. Turning the ordinary into something extraordinary. Fragments of an LCD monitor become art under the microscope. Like this metal surface. That's the work of microphotographer Manfred Kage. For more than five decades, he's given the world a window to objects normally invisible to the naked eye. Da muss man sich vorstellen, you have to imagine being in an invisible world that's invisible because it's extremely small, smaller than an ant. You discover things there that you couldn't imagine in your wildest dreams. It surpasses almost everything you've seen in science fiction and fantasy films. It's all there in a miniature world. Microphotography brings all this to life with the help of microscopes, macroscopes and endoscope technology. At the Weissenstein Castle in southern Germany, Kage founded the Institute for Scientific Photography and Cinematography in 1959. Looking through a microscope, if you've set it up well, is like opening a door and entering a parallel world. A world that doesn't correspond at all to the ordinary one. This parallel world is filled with amazing organisms and unusual life forms that you never would have imagined before. Kaga was born in 1935 near Leipzig. He studied to become a chemical engineer before working at a laboratory in Wiesbaden. But he spent his free time on artistic pursuits and joined an artist's group with the German painter Christa Möhring. At first, the group didn't understand his fascination with microphotography. They said, you're always going on about it, but we never get to see what all the fuss is about. So I thought I'd show them. And I brought a box full of 100 black and white enlargements the next time we met. They said, that's not art, it's nature. But then Christa Merling admitted it was art, because you see these pictures in a way that you've never seen them before. Kaga's passion for microphotography has led him to chart new territory. He's a pioneer in his field. To add color to his black and white images, he uses a special filter system. His invention was revolutionary. The structures of most crystals are colorless, but adding a filter gives them contrast and shades of gray. A second filter fragments and disperses the light. The structure of the crystals and other elements are then seen in a burst of color. The way I create pictures is like tuning an organ, or the way they do it with Photoshop today. But this is something I came up with in 1957, years before computer technology made it possible to change color. Kaga's love of miniature worlds came about when he was eight years old, and his uncle let him use his microscope to study water from a nearby pond. His work has been published in magazines all over the world, and he's won several awards. His name is synonymous with the genre of microphotography. I don't really care if my work is seen as art or only as science or technology. But I do always make sure my pictures observe artistic, aesthetic, and formal principles. Manfred Kage, a pioneer in his own right. Kage's pictures go for up to 7,000 euros, showing the world in a new light and making the invisible visible.